It is an object with a hard surface like our own world but much, much bigger. The necessity for the new designation follows the discovery of a planet which has a mass some 17 times that of Earth. Known as Kepler 10c, it orbits a star about 560 light years away. Scientists described its properties at an American Astronomical Society meeting in Boston. They confess it is something of a head scratcher. Theorists had always thought that any planet that large would pull so much hydrogen onto itself that it would look more like a Neptune or a Jupiter. The proper way to call it is something bigger than a super-Earth, so how about mega-Earth? Professor Dmitar Saslov, of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, KFA, told reporters. He also used the phrase, the Godzilla of Earths. Kepler 10c, as the name suggests, was detected by the U.S. Space Agency's Kepler telescope. This finds new worlds by looking for the tiny dip in light as they pass in front of their parent stars. The technique gives a diameter, in this case, 29,000 kilometers, or just over two times the width of Earth, but not the mass. For that, astronomers looked at Trensi with the Harps North instrument on the Telescopio Nazionale Galileo in the Canary Islands. It extracts a mass measurement by examining the gravitational interaction between the planet and its host star. Combined with the diameter, the mass number showed that Kepler 10c cannot be a gaseous world but must comprise very dense material. It's 17, in fact, it's more than 17 Earth masses, and that brings the density to 7.5 grams per cubic centimeter, which is a lot more than what we know of rock here on Earth, 5.5 g slash centimeters 3, said Professor Saslov. But remember, this is a very massive planet, which means those same minerals are highly compressed. So, what you see in the density is mostly due to compression rather than different composition. The composition comes out as being a combination of rocks and some volatiles, probably 5-15% at most of water. Interestingly, the age of the host star is about 11 billion years old, which is early in the evolution of the universe when generations of exploding stars have not had long to make the heavy elements needed to construct rocky planets.